Okay, so we're going to look at how to draw a low power tissue plan, which you need to do quite often over your two years. There's lots of rules about this um, and guidelines that you need to follow. So the first one is um, that you use a sharp pencil and you draw it as big as you can on the page. So if it takes up the whole page, that's good. I'm going to do a ligustrum root. So the root is basically, uh, it's a cross section, so it looks like a circle. So you do a single line to get the, the overall size of it. Okay, and you try to make sure that it, the line isn't too heavy, yeah, so it doesn't look like you've done it in a, uh, with a really soft pencil and the line's really thick. It's just a nice, even line of the same weight all the way around. So we're going to draw the epidermis, and I'm doing it on a board. I normally do it working downwards and doing it with a pencil, so I'm trying to get these two lines parallel, so that the same distance apart. Oh, and it's normally best if you don't take your pencil off. Oh, it's going wobbly. And when it's gone wobbly, I'd rub it out and do it again. So, that's rubbish. Uh, because I can see where the lines join. This one's thin, that one's fat. It's a long way apart here, and it's closer together here. Up here is not too bad. And what I might do is I might turn the book around when I was drawing it, but I can't with this board. Okay, so that's the first thing. Then on the ligustrum, there's the central region, which is the most interesting. And again, um, that's drawn as a circle. And there's a layer of cells around there. And you draw these parallel as well. And these are roughly the same distance apart as these two lines here. So this is the endodermis. And then inside there, we've got the xylem and the phloem, which looks something like that when you look at it. So when you look at it under low power, Maybe you can't see the detail, you might want to go to high power or medium power to have a look at what's actually going on with the cells. So, there's a few things you need to consider, the proportion. So, how big is this compared to this? Is it in proportion? Uh, is this a bit on the board? No. So if I was to draw a stick man, to me, that's how I draw a stick man, that's, that's the guy is, is in proportion. So that's in proportion. So if I was drawing and I was, and he wasn't in proportion, okay, oops, <laughs> this guy isn't in proportion, so what's wrong with him? This leg's too long and this arm's too long, how do I know? Well I know that roughly his arms and his legs are the same length, yeah, the legs are the same length as each other. So I know that that's not in proportion, so there we go. So I have to adjust that and I know that his arms aren't in proportion. There we go. So I have to adjust it and I can do this by taking measurements. So I can measure the width of this and the width of the whole thing and say, how many times does this structure fit across the whole width of the root? So I'm going to assume this is in proportion. 